So it's been a while since I put out a video because of the clouds and because of a puppy. And because of a puppy that is going to attack the tripod again. Anyway, this is Steve Miller with Entering Into Space and I am going to do a project and record, document my first uh, combo project of RGB and HA data and combining those two. So shooting a series of images through color and a series of images through uh, the Optolong L Enhance. And the color, I'm actually using a new filter, the Bader UHC filter. Uh, so I'm going to combine those two and the target that I'm shooting tonight or on this project is going to be the California Nebula. Uh, which is a new one for me. Haven't ever shot that one. So pretty excited about that and about combining those data those data sets and also uh, showing you guys how I'm connecting my PC to my uh, mount these days. A little different. Uh, so let's get into this and see what it turns out like. Alright? Cool. So if you remember a while back I was using the um, the SynScan Skywatcher Wi-Fi app and connecting uh, my computer to my mount via the Wi-Fi connection. So my guiding and uh, APT, uh, the mount control, everything was through that. Um, great app, works really good on the, on the phone actually, instead of the hand controller. Uh, but the problem is, is that the Windows version of that app uh, wasn't very stable. It's not like an actual program you can download, it's like always in an executable file. Anyway, in the middle of a session it would just Calm down. My puppy. It would just crash. Uh, so I needed something better. I felt like there was probably some guiding issues too, some dithering issues with that connection. Uh, so let me show you over here on the mount how I'm actually connecting and setting everything up. So what did I do? I put the um, hand controller back in. The Wi-Fi app was actually, or the Wi-Fi adapter was actually plugged in here. See my fingers? Oh, good. Uh, <laughs> so, what I did is I actually called Orion about the best cable, full of cable issues here, and so I have a printer cable. That's all it is. USB to whatever this USB is. Um, focus, focus. Okay, don't focus. I don't care. So basically, what this thing does is it plugs into. This is a version five hand controller. So it plugs in right here. Before I plug that in, I'm going to go through just a real quick setup. So enter, enter, my longitude and latitude are already set up, my time zone, my dogs are going nuts in the background. So I want to set the date, it is, what's the date, the I think it's 1120, yep, so one, one, to zero, enter, and the time. I've got this cool little app on here uh, because I suck at military time. So I don't know if you can see, but it's 1722. Uh, so one, seven, two, two, enter, and that's the time. Daylight savings time. No, we're not in daylight savings time. Yes. Position, and we're not going to do an alignment because we're plate solving, so we just hit no. So, so if you can see, we have uh, choose, we have setup, we have object list, and we have utility function. And this is where we want to be. So we hit enter, hit enter, and we're going to go to. PC direct, PC direct mode. And so now, what we do is take the hand controller out. We're going to plug in the uh, printer cable that I just talked about. No idea what that's in focus. My computer just went hello. And then we're going to hit enter. And so now we're in PC direct mode. Uh, so let's go over to the computer and I'll show you how that connects. 
Okay, so back in here into the computer. We are going to uh, open up Master Photography Tool. Deep Sky Clock event closing. So here in Master Photography Tool, well, let's minimize that. So basically, let me go into the program here really quick. Uh, I have got the ASCOM Platform 6 downloaded and EQ Mod downloaded. And in the ASCOM Platform 6, I have I downloaded the drivers for the HEQ, HEQ 5, HEQ 6, um, and then the standard EQ Mod download. And just went through, you can look up a tutorial on how to get that set up. Uh, there's a lot here, so it looks a little scary. Uh, but basically here in Astrophotography Tool, um, with all that set up, I come in here to uh, gear and uh, go to connect scope. Telescope connected. And you see the EQ mod comes up. If you get anything in here besides these uh, parked and the alternate out, out the alt as um, coordinates, then uh, just go back into your settings and check that out. But right now. Once that pops up, I'm done. I just minimize that, and I do all of my controls. Uh, I unpark the scope, select my object list, um, and everything now happens in Astrophotography Tool. So a lot more stable, a lot better. All right, so you can kind of see that, uh, start seeing some stars in here. I don't know if you can see them. I'll zoom in on it. Um, so we're getting darker, that's good. Um, but let's minimize that and let's open up Stellarium. So here we are in Stellarium. For some reason it defaults when you come in here you got to click this little picture, kind of a silhouette of a galaxy. So you turn on your DSOs. And then I didn't know this, but this little guy right here, you click it and then you can actually minimize your program. It took me a while to figure that out too. So you can see the uh, Milky Way here and all those really cool targets, the Eagle, Omega, um, Lagoon Nebula, we're starting to get in a bad place in the sky for me, so turning my attention back towards the east, and uh, right here is the Pleiades, and just above it, or actually to the north of the Pleiades, is the California Nebula. Now, I want to show you something if you're trying to use Stellarium to shoot this. See a little, uh, see this little green thing here. If I click on that, it's going to say NGC 1499, uh, and it's going to give me my on, RA and deck coordinates on date right here, which is cool. But guess what? It's way down here. So for some reason, I'm not sure why it thinks the center of the California nebula is there. So when you plug those in. Basically, all of this gets cut off in your field of view. So I actually had to come up here and I think I had to use the um, aim button to aim at one of these stars here. We'll do it here in a little bit when I actually start to uh, plate solve. But I actually had to use the aim button on like that star there. Um, in APT, the California Nebula is not in the database. So I actually had to program the coordinates in so you come over here to uh, objects and you go to custom and you see I have NGC 1499 California Nebula and there's the uh, right ascension and declination coordinates that uh, Stellarium gives you which are right here but we need to be shooting somewhere up in here so I'm probably gonna adjust that not tonight though I'm just gonna find that star. It's one of these two stars here that I actually use the aim method to, which is pretty cool. It gives you an opportunity to see how to actually use APT uh, function and point craft uh, to this right here, the aim tab. Um, so we'll do that here once it gets dark enough and we're polar lined. All right, hang tight. We'll be right back. So it's dark enough now. Um, we're going to go in here to APT. We are going to choose the California Nebula. 
Okay. And we're not going to have our point crap up. We're going to unpark our scope. First of all, I got to take off the lens cap. That would help. That would help tremendously. Take that little lens cap off. And hit uh, go to. So we got to turn our camera on. Camera connected. And uh, I think what I want to do though is I want to check my focus first. So let's go back over here to gear. Let's go to objects, stars. We're going to go to, uh, let's see, what's a bright star? Let's choose Deneb. So let's find Deneb. Click OK. Hit go to. So now that we've got here, we're going to point craft, objects, Deneb, uh, center field of view, Deneb, and make sure we're in bulbs, 16, ISO 1600, but go to plus plus. Exposure started. Oh, my camera is now going to take a 20 second exposure and use that image to plate solve and center up the star. Exposure finished. Right, let's see what kind of image we got. Huh? I think that might be Deneb right there. So it says we're solving. So when it flashes like that, that's a good sign. That means it's solved. Now it's slew in the scope. It's going to center that, uh, it's going to center Deneb right there. One thing I noticed Exposure started. here to the uh, point craft settings was I had to add to the, de to the delay after it slews. For some reason it wanted to start taking a second plate solving exposure too soon uh, and it didn't give the mount enough time to settle, which caused my second image to have... Exposure finished. So I had to bump that up I think to like 10 seconds, so bam, right there, done deal. Go to plus plus finished. And I think that it is uh, solved it. So because I'm using my microphone right now, I can't hear anything my computer's saying. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're gonna turn off point craft. And one thing I do is once I've got that centered, I want to hit the sync button right here, and that basically synchronizes the coordinates um, in the program here. So let's uh, let's go over here to live view. Barely see it here. We'll zoom in one time. You see it right there. So let's put the bat mouth mask on. It looks pretty good, but because you're using the uh, Optolong L Enhance, it's so dark that you're really not going to see. Even if I zoom in one more time, really hard to see. So what I do is I come over here to camera, and I'm just going to shoot like a three-second exposure. Go to last taken. And it's gonna download. So there it's done. Uh, got the last taken, there it is. And wow, I think it's still pretty focused. So we've got the star spike right down the center. So we're good. So let's take our batten off mask off. We're gonna go to gear, go back to gear, point craft, not point craft, objects, custom, California Nebula. Okay, and go to. Let's see if we can get it centered up. So same thing, point craft, California Nebula, okay, um, current image, and center field of view up position, objects, okay. And then hit, uh, make sure we go back into our camera tab here. We gotta change that back to bulb. Drop that ISO down to 1600 and hit go to plus plus. Let's see what kind of picture we get. Exposure started. Still a lot of clouds, still pretty low. We might give this about an hour before we actually start shooting, but we can at least try to get it uh, try to get it centered up. Exposure finished. Hey, look at those clouds. That's not the nebula. <laughs> so I solved it even though there's clouds. Oh, that's pretty cool. Slowing the scope.
Exposure started. Gonna take another 20 second exposure. <coughs> exposure started. Find one more image, which is kind of crazy because uh, we're gonna let it go through its paces and see what it comes up with. But I'm gonna let these clouds pass before uh, I actually really try to narrow in on it. Exposure finished. I have no idea where they came from. Never do. Getting to see some live plate solving with clouds. Go to plus plus finished. I think it's done. So it is uh, solved. So let's let some of these clouds pass by and we'll jump back into this and uh, get this thing aimed here pretty soon.